talk to you about protecting your water utility from pressure transients. Uh, pressure transients are sure to occur in your water system. For example, if you have a pipe break, like shown above, uh, you'll get a downsurge and low pressure transients and perhaps high pressure transients to follow that. A very common situation in a water utility is shown here in this cartoon where the engine here represents a pump and the train cars represent the water. And if the pump fails, due to the inertia of the water, you'll get a very large downsurge of pressure. And that will immediately be followed by, uh, due to gravity, the, the flow reversing. And you get this upsurge as shown here. Uh, here's the train coming back and uh, uh, causing a big pressure spike at the pump. This is a serious problem that we have to be very careful to avoid. So why do we need to do a surge analysis for a water utility? Well, the extremes always occur during transients. Here, for example, is the pressure following a pump trip. Initially, the pressure is here. Finally, the pressure is here. But in between, it comes down here and actually goes below atmospheric pressure, spikes up about twice the normal pressure, uh, these are considerations that we have to be concerned about. They can result in broken pipes, as shown here, uh, damage to pumps. Uh, low pressure will cause uh, intrusion into your system, pathogen intrusion. You have to boil the water if you have a pipe break and you uh, get negative pressures in your system. Uh, high pressures and low pressures both can damage seals, increase leakage, uh, shorten the lives of pipes and so you need to to be able to do surge analysis to evaluate these conditions and to evaluate surge protection such as a surge tank which can uh, which will allow you to avoid many of these undesirable conditions here's an example surge analysis we looked at this problem in an earlier slide but here we have a system where with the pumps operating the pressure is around 54 when the pumps are shut down, the pressure only drops about 5 PSI because you have a couple of overhead tanks here that pressurize the system. But the question is, what happens when the pump goes off if you shut it down quickly or it actually trips due to a power outage? Well, here's what would happen. The pressure will uh, drop down very quickly and you get all these negative pressures. Below atmospheric, you get big positive pressure surges. And the low pressures are particularly concerned because of health uh, factors. Uh, you can cause pathogen intrusion. The EPA is very concerned about this. But in addition, uh, it'll increase your pipe breakage, uh, increase your leakage. There are a lot of uh, problems associated with these pressure extremes. Uh, if you look at the entire system, which you can do with a surge analysis, you'll see you had low pressures throughout the system. And this puts many, many regions of the system in jeopardy because the pressures are subatmospheric and dirty water that's near the uh, pipes can be sucked back into the pipes during this situation. Well, how do you protect the system? Uh, there are several devices that we can use, and Surge 2000 will deal with most of these devices. Uh, the devices are designed to prevent low pressure by putting air or water into the system or prevent high pressure by expelling air or water from the pipe system. And there are several ways to do that. The active surge control will actually prevent the surge condition. And you need a surge tank or a device like that to provide energy to the system. Uh, the passive surge control may be less expensive, but it doesn't prevent the surge. These are like air vacuum valves, pressure relief valves things like that. Now if we look at protecting this system that we looked at earlier, uh, the, the recommended way would be to put a surge tank in here. And the surge tank could be either a compressor tank or a bladder tank. Uh, we certainly recommend bladder tanks because uh, they don't require compressors. They're less maintenance. But the idea here is that when the pump loses power, the surge tank will provide water into the system and that will prevent a large down surge. Uh, you can see how the pressure will vary with the surge tank in the system. Uh, very little variation from about 55 down to 40 and if we compare that with what we had earlier uh, we will get uh, this plot which shows of course the negative pressures, the pathogen intrusion possibilities, high pressures, 
uh, a lot of situations that we want to avoid. So you really need to be able to look at surges in your piping system, in your wire utility, and look at protecting these systems from these damaging effects.